barbed wire marks the line between freedom and confinement. Everything is separated between a razor wire fence and an electric fence. And sometimes that's a little tougher. It's almost like a mirage. You can see it, but it doesn't really seem real. 4,500 inmates are at California State Prison, Solano. My sentence was 20 years. I have about 13 in. I'm hoping when it's all said and done, I won't have any more than 15 behind the wall. Blaine Bowker is in for three counts of attempted murder and a carjacking. Once he gets out, he'll have a chance for a new start and a new career. How are you feeling for today with graduation? A little nervous, but glad to be where I am. It's, it's been a long journey, and uh, knowing that today is the day where we actually graduate and we can be recognized for doing something good, it feels good. He's one of 28 men graduating from the Offender Mentor Certification Program. All of the inmates had to go through a strict screening process before they're accepted. They look at their education, discipline history, and the amount of time left to serve and how they've acted in prison. This is something tangible. This is something that I've been able to engage in a process of change. A chance to do something right for the people impacted by their crimes. Just realizing the impact that it had on his family and his loved ones and the community and my family, it's just um, really heart-wrenching to think of those things. I may not be able to directly say I apologize or I'm sorry, but this is one of the things I can do by making sure I don't make that same mistake again and by being a better human being in my environment. Their families will be at graduation. Louis Bruman hasn't seen his family, including his twin brother, for close to 10 years. I can only imagine that he hasn't come because, and he's my twin brother, so him having to walk out of here without me is probably more hurtful than actually coming up here and just spending time with me. His brother came with his wife and kids. I'm really excited. It's been a while, and uh, I figured it was time for us to come out, especially on an occasion like this, you know. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm really excited to see him. Today, he wanted to make sure to show his little brother he's here and he's proud. And to put those five things, one on each finger. In my case, my niece Abigail, my nephew George, my twin brother George, my sister-in-law Mary Lou, and this life-changing opportunity. Today, I look at all these smiling faces and I know that we truly have something to be proud of ourselves. Today we honor our victims by living a life of service and making a living amends. This is the 10th year for the program. Some graduates are now community leaders. And was running a business six months later because of this, because of what I know, who I am. And as my brothers came home, I gave seven of them jobs. There's a place out there for you. This program can change their lives and their futures. It's going to help us give us a springboard and so it's not so difficult to worry about me being an ex and not having opportunities. A lot of, by me accomplishing, making this accomplishment, having this accomplishment, they open up doors for more opportunities for me. Now, it's up to them. So I go to the Pro uh, 2023. I feel really good about it. I feel really hopeful. We all have a different story, but it's none is less of an impact on things that can shape our lives. Traveling the roads that I've traveled through life, I think that's probably where it could be the most effective in helping others. I definitely do understand that I'm not going to stay in here for the rest of my life. I'm going to actually get an opportunity to go out there and do something different. <laughs>